Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our fifth weekly video as we're going to talk more specifically about TNCs and their effect on building businesses and decision making. Now, whenever we talk about TNCs, we think about franchising. That is a business arrangement where one party grants another party the right to use its established business model, brand, and support systems in exchange for fees, royalties, and adherence to specific operating guidelines. Now, actually, this allows a franchisee to operate their own business under the umbrella of franchisers' established brands and benefit from their expertise and support. Franchising at the end is common in industries like fast food, retails, and hospitalities, but it can apply to various business sectors. It's actually a way for individuals to own and run businesses with the packing of an established, already established brand and operational framework. As we're going to highlight the concept of franchising through basically grouping up together and discussing the importance of creating businesses, branding, and the role of decision making in business, as we're going to brainstorm again the challenges of running a franchise, and we're going to mind map the benefits of both the company and others operating businesses using their own brand. And now, whenever we think about TNCs and at the same time, by making our own businesses or creating the businesses that we want, we think about production, exploitation, risks, uh, working conditions, and we're going to answer a lot of questions, again, that are related to the pictures and concepts that we're learning. So what do you think that are methods of production? And can traditional corporations ever be held accountable for labor exploitation and poor working conditions in their supply chain? And even in what countries would it happen? And what do you think? So we're going to look at a lot of pictures and we're going to be basically um, looking at certain concepts when it comes to making businesses. And now developed and developing countries represent two distinct categories within the global spectrum of economic and social progress. So whenever we talk about creating businesses, we have to create about the right option and choice of country. So am I going to choose a developed or a developing country? And whenever we think about them, we have to think about the limit access of education and health care the higher prevalence of poverty, job opportunities, access to food, clean water, and sanitation. We think also about education. Don't forget that making decisions in businesses is a multifaceted and dynamic process that often feels like steering a ship through turbulent waters. It involves a delicate balance of analysis, intuition, and risk assessment. Now, in order for us to reframe the idea of making decisions in our business, we're going to answer a lot of questions. Now, research basically um, PowerPoint presentation. As we're going to answer, how do you balance fair working conditions with the control of labor costs uh, in your global supply chain? And we're gonna talk about the country that you chose and you're gonna highlight the negative impacts and positive impacts of your choice. Lastly, expressing it in a paragraph with a group and why is it basically the best option. And as a follow-up to our class, don't forget to list one positive significance of globalization on human rights. 